one of the largest fraud schemes. They exaggerated or made false statements about the company's technology business. And now hundreds of people are out millions of dollars. The allegations are proven true here. This is spectacular fraud. In the Wild West that is cryptocurrency, very few have faced consequences for their actions. These actions usually being fraud, stealing millions, tens of millions, even billions of dollars from gullible investors, riding off into the sunset, saddlebags full of gold coins. Much like the Old West though, times are changing, civilization is catching up and the frontier has been shrinking day by day. The latest to discover this is one Eddie Alexander, a 50 year old Haitian national that resides in Valley Stream, New York. Eddie decided that he was not too late to the party and he too could make his fortune lying, cheating and stealing from investors. He of course was wrong. He will instead be facing down the long barrel of up to 30 years in federal prison. Prior to being the owner of an alleged Ponzi scheme, Eddie was a cybersecurity engineer with 30 years of experience with jobs at prestigious companies like Warner Media. And speaking about jobs, it's actually my job to tell you about today's sponsor. Noah's Heart is a massive open world MMORPG that is currently holding a closed beta test on Android, iOS and PC. Explore planet Noah, travel across the diverse terrain on foot, on mount or in the sky with your jetpack or even with your grapple gun. Collect waifus and husbandos to build your ultimate squad of phantoms to help on your mission to become the very best like no one ever was. To catch waifus is your real test, to train them is most certainly your cause. Create your character, customize your appearance, choose your weapon type and set off on your adventure. The story starts you off real strong. You meet a woman, she has bunny ears. We like that. The anime antagonist shows up and he beats your ass. Just before he lands the final blow that would finish you off, bunny-eared waifu shouts, get down Mr. President and dives in front of the strike. We don't like that. Luckily, she's made a stronger stuff than you and turns out to be A-OK. -okay. But we can't take that level of disrespect, initiate anime training compilation. We will get stronger using the power of friendship. We will show Bunny Waifu that we are worthy. Noah's Heart takes place on what they call a parallel world, one that features historical figures that you can interact with or even collect as phantoms to take into battle. Take for instance, the famous William Shakespeare. Yes, this is William Shakespeare in what I'm calling the world that should have been, but unfortunately isn't. This is definitely the best William Shakespeare, and for some reason, I just can't stop paying attention to his work for once. Noah's Heart is available in a variety of languages, English, German, Russian, French, and Portuguese, with the option of even having Japanese audio with subtitles of your choice. The game has a bit of something for everyone. Dungeons, open world exploration, collection, free moving 3D combat, questing, crafting, and more. To check out the game, use the link in the video description. They're gonna launch very soon and you can go ahead using that. Sign up for pre-registration for when they do. And anyone who does sign up will receive some special in-game rewards. So definitely do that if you are interested. And thank you again to Noah's Heart for sponsoring this video. On with the content. So what did Eddie do to draw the attention of the FBI? Stay efficient and profitable as you build your wealth with investments in the crypto and forex trading business by signing on with eMini FX. Our robo advisor assisted account allows for automated trading, freeing up your time for other activities, featuring ultra low commissions on each financial transaction you complete. This platform lets you retain more of your profits and the low pip spreads ensure you stay abreast of price movements. You can build teams to expand your network and earn profits when you introduce others to this platform. This positions you to collect a portion of the fees paid by every one of your referrals. Visit and sign up on www.eminifx.com to fuel your profits by making meaningful use of breakthrough technology offered on this platform. After watching that video, you're likely to have questions. You probably think that no one could fall for something this obvious, and if they did, it can't have been for much money. This trailer, as well as a terribly designed website using all stock footage, earned eMini FX over $59 million from September 2021 until the FBI shut it down in May of 2022. So how exactly did he do it? eMini FX operated almost identically to previous crypto schemes that we've already seen come and go, including the famous BitConnect. 
They promise such high returns that prey on the FOMO, fear of missing out, of potential investors. They then honour some withdrawals early on to show you, you can put money in, earn a little, and take money back out. It's all good. All the while, throwing high percentage gains at you. The word of mouth spreads. The longer the platform is in operation, the more legitimacy people believe it has, and the high returns dissuade people from pulling out all their money, since that would slow down their earnings. It's the perfect storm of preying on greed, or in many cases, desperation to beat the system and better your life as quickly as possible. Cryptocurrency has put the idea in millions of heads that getting to an opportunity like this early on can change your whole life. And since it has happened to people before, why not you this time? You too can be in the right place at the right time and become financially free. Just invest in my scheme. Now, as you can see from the marketing material and the gains promised, these are obvious by design to weed out people who would be more skeptical, just like the scam calls who ask if you're over 65 before trying to steal your money, or the Nigerian prince who emails you with a blatant scam. They don't want to waste their time if they don't think they can get you. The biggest difference with projects like BitConnect or eMini Effects, though, is that they employ the most powerful tool possible, other investors. So not only did they promise returns that are too good to be true, they also had multiple levels of marketing schemes that rewarded you for inviting users to the platform. You got cuts of their trading fees, you got cuts of any packages they purchased, you got access to a fleet of luxury cars if you invited the most people, or of course you would get cash rewards for being the very top of the pyramid. But of course, you're never going to be the real top. The real top is Eddie Alexander. Now let's say you saw all this, you heard the returns, you heard the multi-level marketing, you saw those terrible videos, and you decided, I'm going to invest. How would you do it? Well, like every other multi-level marketing or pyramid scheme, you pay a monthly subscription to be a member. In this case, $49.95. And then you buy an investment package from the lowest tier called the Starter Pack for $99 to $499, all the way to the Founders Crown Ambassador Package for $2 million or more. There are 12 total packages, each coming with different rewards that scale up, giving you more return on your money, though you didn't even need to invest money if you wanted to earn. You could just, of course, recruit other people and get them to buy packages and take a cut of each one sold. That means you could hop on your social media and say, look guys, I'm in, are you going to be as well? Are we going to the moon together? Hoddle, diamond hands, let's do this. So how would you earn this money? How would Eddie and M&I FX earn this money to give you such high returns? Well, they would employ secret robo-advising technology that returned 5 to 10% weekly to all investors. This would allow for you to double any investment inside of five months. Pretty good deal, right? These robots must be very efficient, except Eddie would not explain how this worked and only repeated that it was his, quote, trade secret despite all these red flags people bought packages and when you did you'd see a dollar value appear in your dashboard including the promised returns each week of five to ten percent seeing money come in so quickly would dissuade most people from withdrawing money because you're seeing your money grow consistently at a rate you didn't think possible because it's not the money was never invested it wasn't growing it was just telling you it was well that is of course unless you count eddie buying personal assets of course which according to the fbi eddie alexander is accused of spending around 15 million dollars on personal expenses putting money into his own personal bank accounts and spending about 170 thousand dollars on luxury vehicle purchases now, according to the US versus Eddie Alexander complaint, Alexander stated the following to investors while on video calls, quote, if an investor were to invest $10,000 initially, within five months, they would have $20,000. He also stated, quote, if an investor invested $1,000, they would be a millionaire within three years, as long as the investor did not make any withdrawals. To back up this claim, he repeatedly told investors during these calls that there were already millionaires on the platform, you know, thanks to eMini FX. Then he had to call and congratulate them personally. Now, all of this is, of course, completely fake. It doesn't exist. The FBI had surveillance on the New York office, and during said surveillance on or about March 22nd, 2022, law enforcement observed and photographed evidence of handwritten summaries of fraudulent returns 
on a whiteboard. The whiteboard shows the writing, quote, never less than 5%, never more than 9.98%. The FBI agent alleges that based on his experience and investigation, this indicated that the weekly profit was not based on returns at all, which is fairly common sense, right? Nobody ever can guarantee you between 5 and 10%, never going below even by 0.1%, never going above by 0.1%. And this is especially obvious when the FBI could then compare this information to the provable investment returns, which consisted of only losses. Now, during the investigation, Eddie Alexander opened a series of bank accounts to receive funds from investors. However, instead of keeping all funds in said accounts, he instead diverted over $15 million to his personal account. According to the agent, a number far exceeding the fees the company claimed to be taking from investors, therefore it had to be investor funds that was not for him personally in the first place. Of the $59 million, Alexander only transferred $9 million to a trading platform to conduct investments. Instead of trading in the Forex and cryptocurrency markets as the website claimed they would, he instead traded in individual equities and single equity options. Within three months of trading, Alexander's balance was $2,769,718, which means he lost approximately $6.3 million of investor funds, despite claiming 5-10% to returns weekly and expert traders that could guarantee that return. On top of this, within two months of operating E-mini FX, but before making any investments at all, Alexander bought himself a $155,000 BMW. Luckily though, while misappropriating funds, whether by guilt or foresight, Alexander also used investor funds to pay retainers for law firms to the tune of over $120,000, which should help quite a lot considering his current situation. According to the FBI agent in charge, some users were able to receive withdrawals, though having access to the financial records shows that they can only fund these withdrawals with funds of existing investors or that of new ones, the textbook definition of a Ponzi scheme. The business earns no funds from any operation and only loses money over time due to operation and improper use of money invested. Therefore, the dollar value on everyone's account, even if it remained at the exact value they entered, could no longer be withdrawn. When you add on the 5 to 10% compounding interest on each user's money that happened on Friday every week from September 2021 to May 2022, as well as Alexander's personal withdrawals and failure of trading, the total value, should they need to pay out what investors expect based on the balance on their dashboard, it would be likely over $110 million. According to the report, there is less than $35 million in the main account. This sealed complaint and the information within was enough to get a Southern District of New York judge to sign off on a warrant for the arrest of one Eddie Alexander, as well as put a halt on the company's operation. This news broke on May 12th, 2022, and investors were in denial about why the website was no longer processing withdrawals. It does show everything there. Um, I did a withdrawal, y'all know. Um, of my balance a couple weeks ago and it hasn't it hasn't took place which is kind of strange um, you know so um, don't know why but it hasn't took place some users that had tens of thousands of dollars invested to try to contact the company to find out what was happening only to be told that the phone line is no longer being monitored and forward them to a law office an update for today is that I tried to call and got a message that I certainly want to hear. So the message says, by order of United States District Court dated May 11th, 2022, e FX has been placed under federal receivership. This phone line is no longer being monitored. If you have questions, please email emanyfx.receiver at rainslaw.com. That's R-A-I. NESLAW.com. As you can see from this user's accounts, they were part of a group that had invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to date. And despite the FBI's arrest of the CEO, he remains hopeful that all is well. I really honestly don't feel like it was the CEO's uh, intent to swindle anybody's money. I really feel like it was his passion to run a successful company here. Maybe some of the uh, slowness or whatever that's been going on lately has caused somebody to um, file a complaint against the company or something. CEO of cryptocurrency and Forex trading platform charged with fraudulent scheme involving over $59 million says that the CEO, Eddie Alexander, was arrested, but there's another report that he's out on bail. I'm not going to believe everything that I hear, uh, innocent until proven guilty, but 
It's not looking good. As much as this scam was obvious, the people caught up are real, and financial losses like this can have serious repercussions for those burned and the families left to pick up the pieces. The reason these schemes are so despicable is that they operate using people's desperation against them and turn those people into extremely powerful marketing tools that recruit others in similar positions. I also have friends and family highly invested in this and uh, I would ask that you just please pray for us all during this process. Hopefully, you know, it will go smoothly. If these allegations are true, I hope Eddie Alexander will have many years to reflect upon his decisions in prison. He has since been released on a $3 million bond, as well as two properties in his shiny new BMW, as well as having to pay for his own guard to ensure he doesn't flee the country to Haiti, where the judge believes extradition would not be possible. He faces up to 30 years in federal prison, as well as a pending civil suit, and based on the evidence put forward for this warrant of his arrest, it seems the fraud was blatant. Best of luck to the investors in receiving compensation, hopefully people will learn from this. If an investment is too good to be true, it definitely is. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, check out my Patreon, and I'll see you next time.